Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you have already subscribed, welcome back. Today we are gonna be making a honey garlic salmon over mashed potato and we are gonna be serving it with some steamed broccoli. If you're interested and want to see this recipe, please keep on watching. Cooking made easy. For our honey glazed salmon recipe, I already cut the salmon. I am gonna be leaving the skin on. We also gonna be using some honey, some butter, and for the mashed potato, we are gonna be using some heavy cream, seasoning salt. And we're also going to garnish with some fresh chopped parsley. And this is our potato. They are already cooked and I have already boiled them. And to season the salmon, we are going to be using the organic meat seasoning. This meat seasoning is an all-in-one. I'm not going to be adding no extra salt because the seasoning already has everything in it. If you want to try this seasoning, I'll make sure to have the link right here. And I'll also make sure to have the link in the description below. Now we have moved everything aside. We are going to drizzle some olive oil. And after that, we are going to make sure that the olive oil is fully coated in the salmon so that it doesn't stick in the pan. And after that, we are going to add a good amount of the organic meat seasoning. And then we are going to fully mix it well to make sure that the salmon is fully seasoned. And if you are new here, my name is Claude Mott. I am the owner and founder of Le Bongo Seasoning. Le Bongo Seasoning is an e-commerce website that I created when I was in grad school where we sell organic meat seasoning, organic green seasoning, organic hot pepper sauce, organic barbecue marinade, organic jerk marinade, and so much more. If you're interested in trying one of our seasonings, since all of the recipes that I have been posting on my channel, I have been making them using the organic seasoning from Le Bongo Seasoning. I'll make sure to have the link right here and the link will also be in the description below. And after we have fully seasoned the salmon, we are going to place it under the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Now that we have placed the salmon under the oven, now let's begin making our creamy mashed potato. Before the mashed potato, I melted the butter for 30 seconds in the microwave. And this is how I make my creamy mashed potato. I add some butter and some seasoning salt. Add some heavy whipped cream and we're just going to keep smashing until we get to the consistency that we like. If you want your mashed potato to be more creamy, feel free to add more heavy cream. And here is a closer look and the mashed potato is pretty much done. I use red potatoes for this recipe because I like my mashed potato with the skin on. Now that our salmon is ready, we are going to start making the garlic honey glaze sauce. To make the sauce, we are going to melt some butter. And while our butter is melting, we are going to be adding some garlic. This is the garlic that I am using for this recipe because this garlic also have some chili in there. And now we are going to mix it well. And after that, we are going to add a generous amount of honey. And after we have added our honey, we are going to add some fresh chopped parsley. And we are going to just mix it well for an additional 2-3 to three minutes and our sauce will be done. And after our honey glazed garlic sauce is done, we are going to simply pour it over the salmon. And this is what our salmon and mashed potato is looking like so far before we added the sauce on top. If you don't want to have the garlic honey glazed sauce, you can have your salmon with mashed potato just like that. And this is a closer look of what our salmon is looking like before we add the sauce on top.
and here is a final look guys of our recipe as you can see this recipe was very easy to put together and now that we have put the garlic honey glaze sauce on top of the salmon with some fresh chopped parsley i really hope you guys like this recipe if you are new here please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you will create this recipe please make sure you add what you will add what you will do differently if you are new here please remember to subscribe to help support my channel and help me grow thank you guys so much for staying with me until the end of this recipe thank you so much for watching thank you for your support and as always i'll see you in the next one bye now Cooking made easy.